everyone, it's Pebbles, and I am here with my Hot Look um, unboxing and uh, haul. I This is going to be my last haul for a while, as if you've watched my other videos, you will see that I've been hauling a lot, and I think that it's time to take a break. So, um, especially with the cosmetic area, because I have tons of products. So, I do not need anything else for a while. So, I had ordered this, uh, I had ordered some product off of Hot Look, and I will put the website below. And I got the balm products because they were incredibly priced. And I just got my package yesterday. So here is my package. As you can see, hot look. And I wanted to um, show you what I got. I got some really great stuff. And apparently the balm does go on hot look quite often. So I would... Um, you know, if you're interested in this product line, then I would recommend checking the website periodically just to see what they have. Um, I have purchased my um, blow dryer from them and now this and I live in Canada so it does take a little bit to actually get my um, my stuff when I order it but then um, you know I haven't had, a, I'm not disappointed once I've received my stuff. So it's only been twice that I've ordered anything off of this website and so far I'm happy. So like I said, uh, the products that I purchased were the balm and they ended up in my box. They gave me a little gift. It's a Giardelli chocolate square and it is the hazelnut crisp with a little coupon. So this was a nice little treat uh, that I wasn't expecting so that was kind of nice. So what I purchased on the website was this palette here, and it's a nude palette from the Balm called Meet Matte, and there's matte right there. And I love the packaging of the Balm. It is so retro and cute, and it says here, size matters. And when you open up this palette, you're going to see why, because <laughs> the actual um, eyeshadows are quite large. So I'm really happy about this. And they're beautiful colors. I don't know if you can see them. I'm not going to swatch them, but I'm just going to show you. And I'm going to do a tutorial. Like, I'm going to do a bunch of tutorials now that I have all of my product. And <sighs> I've got a lot of product. So I'm going to be doing some tutorials on eye looks and lips and all kinds of stuff. So check it. Stay tuned. So that was my matte nude palette from The Balm. And. The next palette that I purchased was the Nude Tude. And this one here, I'm going to um I'm going to say that it's similar to the Naked palettes from Urban Decay. And with the Balm um eyeshadows, they do go apply on creamy and they do have staying power, power, staying power. Yes, yeah, staying power and they also um are pigmented. So this is a really beautiful palette. And you'll see that you that you've got your pinks, you've got your neutrals, your pinks, your browns. You've got a dark uh charcoal color and a brown color. This is a really nice mocha color, almost like um a, a reddy brown. Maybe that dupe for the uh the one that you can get from MAC and it's called Sexy. So this uh palette does have some shimmery uh colors as well as some matte colors. So I am going to do a review and a tutorial on this. So that is the Nude Nuditude palette from The Balm. And put this back nice nice. Then the other few things that I got is the I bought a lipstick called Anita Boy Toy. And this is the packaging. The little girl on there. And it's a pink color which I'm not usually wearing pink, but I don't know, I figure with spring and stuff coming, I thought that would be kind of nice. So this kind of actually looks like one of the MAC packaging. And this is a real true Barbie pink color. I'll swatch that. It actually goes on sheer. It's not as, oh, actually it's really pretty. And I think that would be a buildable color. So I think that's a really nice color. I've got like a a fuchsia lip on today. So, yeah, I think this will be great for the spring. So I got that. And then I purchased Time Bomb 
concealer. Now, I've used their concealers, and I really like them. They've got really good coverage. It is a buildable concealer, and I find that it is full coverage. Let's see if I can open this package here. Here we go. And I got the color in medium. But they, um, that's what it looks like. They, it comes in light, I think light fair, medium light, medium dark, and then dark. So you have a good variety of different concealers. Now it's sealed up, so I'm not going to open it up, but that's the package right there. And this is medium. I do have this also right now in a medium light, and for the winter time, I find that the medium light is actually probably better suited for me, but I wanted to get the medium because, you know, once you're approaching summer and stuff, you want a little bit, I need a little bit of a darker concealer. And then the last thing I purchased was the Mary Lou Manizer. So it's a highlighter, and I just love this packaging. And it is a nice size compact. So here's my, the palm of my hand. So you can see how big this compact is. And the packaging is really well made. It's got a little mirror here, and then, of course, the highlighter powder. Now, I've heard really good reviews on YouTube about this highlighter, and that has led me to want to try it. So here it is. You can see that it's really shimmery. I'll swatch that for you. So you can see that it is. it has like a, a real... It's very smooth and creamy, and it is very highly pigmented, and you get that beautiful gold. It's like a gold sheen to it. So I think that above your cheekbones here and here, it would be a really pretty look, and you get that J-Lo glow. So that is the Mary Luminizer. So that was pretty much it that I purchased from the Hot Look um, with my Balm products. And, yeah, I will be doing some tutorials on these products, and hopefully you'll stay tuned to watch them. So thank you so much, and have yourself a great day. Okay, hope to see you soon. Bye. Marco, do you want to be in the video? Come here. Want to be in the video? Come on. What's the matter? You want to be in the video with mommy? What do you got to say for yourself, Sucka? Want to say something?